Nice guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the prodigy, best known for his seamless fusion of street art and studio technique, the much hyped, arrogant, egotistical, undeserving artist known as me. Vandal or visionary, that is the question. The controversy rages on. Can a, an artist best known for graffitiing the side of a bank actually make it in the high-paced world of contemporary modern art? The answer is yes. Yes, he can. Providing that his work is dark enough and depraved enough to expose the twisted and ugliest parts of his questionable soul, well then, yes. Yes, he can achieve unquestionable commercial success. The collectors and the dealers, they will drive up the prices, making him rich and famous, and for a moment, he will actually confuse himself for a genius. We all know he is nothing more than just a good old-fashioned garden variety psycho. Franco, stop! Franco, what do you think you're doing? Ridding the world of an eyesore. Okay, no, don't even think about it. You are an artist. You're supposed to make art, not destroy it. This so-called art comes from the deepest and darkest parts of my soul. This is the product of a man that I have come to hate, a man that I am I am no longer that man. But every time I see a brushstroke or a splash of color that may as well be blood, I am reminded of who I was. And I didn't I didn't go to New York to reclaim these paintings out of pride. I got them back so that I could obliterate them, erase that part of me forever. Is this because of Elizabeth? I don't want Elizabeth to see these paintings ever, especially now. Oh, right. Now that you're moving in with her? It is what that text was about, right? The apartment's all mine. I think you forgot the part about how I'm supposed to cover the rent on my own. Moving in, huh? You, Elizabeth, the boys. It's good stuff. I'm really happy for you, Franco. You deserve it. Thank you. But this art, this, this is from another time. I mean, you know, Picasso had his blue period. You... You had your dark blue period. My really dark and depraved blue period. But it's still art. You know, I saw this article about you a couple months ago. It was called Genius Interrupted. It was about when a visionary artist you were and how your premature retirement robbed the world of what you could have created. I still want to create. Just with different inspiration. Let me have to get rid of all this garbage. You're ready to destroy your work? Because, you know, one of Basquiat's paintings just went for 100 million. 110.5. Exactly. Some people would kill for one of those. Well, that's a poor choice of words. Sorry. Look, Franco, I understand that these paintings represent a part of your life that you're not proud of. I get it, but you got to get over it, okay? It's art. It's still art, and it has its place in the world. Maybe not with you, but... Oh my gosh, I know where you should send it. To a landfill? No, give it to my mom. <laughs> <laughs>